Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates now today, or I should say this evening because it's like 9 p.m. And yes, I'm having a freaking espresso at the moment. There is some bullish news coming out only late this afternoon here in Australia. We've got BlackRock and NASDAQ and the SEC meeting, obviously discussing the listing of the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF, which is freaking bullish. We've got the Central Bank of Ireland, Ireland right there, I'm going to say properly, uh, officially approves Ripple, which is insane as well. 40 plus countries are getting into crypto this year in 2023. It's just the beginning. Justin Sun withdrawing trillions of Shiba Inu. And we have real world assets are going to be built on Solana, which is just nuts. Going to be going over my three commas trading bots on OKX. And both are official partners of the channel. There are some mad discounts for Christmas with three commas. Anyway, there's a lot to go through. Let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, grow stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are about to get pretty wild in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find, ladies and gentlemen, do that, all right? So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. Thank you very much, you rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Right, formalities are out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into the uh, top altcoins in my portfolio. Loving coin market caps, new uh, app, by the way. Now, I put this list up every single day in the Patreon. Go join up the Wall Street Bull University. No BS, straight to the point. Anyway, top alts, we've got Near Protocol, Hedera, up 8%. Solo, we've got 8% as well. VeChain, 7%, still at 5 cents. This is creeping up really, really nicely as well. And by the way, I do have this in Australian dollars. Let's flick this back to USD. All right, now we've got USD prices right now. Again, VeChain still at 3 cents, doing quite nicely. XPR Proton is not XRP. I get so many messages about this. It is a completely different pro uh, project. Just making that clear, instead of using wallet address as uh, you know those long things we uh, all love so dearly you use a username pretty much like paypal it's really cool uh harmony rose right here at six percent ravain and we also have phantom i've got all my altcoins go join up in the wall street bull university and actual fact let's have a look at the total market cap 1.6 trillion today the last i should say week or so has been absolutely horrible uh, but the market is slowly picking up based on the news with BlackRock. That is bullish. Greed and fear index is at 71. And of course, we've got Bitcoin sitting at 52% and Ethereum at 16%. Now, let's get into crypto bubbles. And yes, before I do, I have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. This is where I put up all my buys, my sells, my trades, my indicators, my day trading bots, my futures grid trading bots are on for OKX all the three commas trading bot software, full instructional videos in there as well. Also, you can literally copy the bots that I'm currently running on three commas. Everything is in the Wall Street Bull University. Go join up, you will not regret it. And I love putting up my dividend investing as well, which provides monthly cash flow. And uh, I put up my dollar cost averaging buys every single week. Go check it out as well. There is a chat feature in here where I can speak directly to everyone in the group. There's like 800 plus members. Uh, this number's, I don't know why I have to clear the cache on my phone, but anyway, it's unreal. Thank you very much to every single one of you. 1,542 posts is a lot of information. Bullish as anything. Now, three commas. Um, the last few weeks have been really volatile. This is no bullshit. Um, I don't talk crap on this channel. I'm not putting up the good stuff. I'm also putting up the bad. We've had a lot uh, that has happened with the crypto market you know, Binance being sued. We've had flash crashes all over the place. Weekends have been horrible 
in the crypto market. But, uh, and you know, again, I just want to say I've been consistent with uh, my three commas day trading bots, well, the dollar cost averaging bots, I should say, on OKX. Now, again, three commas has got an awesome discount for Christmas, which is unreal. You can get like 50% off. The links are below. Go join up to three commas. But again, with this stuff, I'm trading with leverage. So please be careful. Don't go and invest in stupid amounts of money. And also be careful with that because you don't want to go anything, uh, you know, that you can't afford to lose. Okay, I've seen it happen so many times. Don't do that. And if you're not comfortable with trading with leverage, do not do it. Okay, it's very important. You can just use the standard spot trading if you are an emotional trader. You know, people freak out all the time. You've invested too much. That's just a simple rule. Now, again, I've got a few multi bots set up here. My uh, long bots and short bots are both trading. I restarted these literally yesterday. They have made me 410 USDT in one day on the long bots. Uh, now the new bots that I've got set up are linked in the Wall Street Bull University. I'll put them up today. They are trading with 50, oh, sorry, 50, 15 X leverage. Uh, and again, my base order is sitting at around about 100 USDT and the safety is at 110, 120 around there. Uh, slightly increased, but uh, they're both working really nice. And the short bot is also working quite nicely as well. Let's just wait for this to load. That has made me 347 USDT overnight. So combined, it's really, really nice gains. Now, again, everything is linked below. The multi bots, you can trade as many altcoins as you want. There's no need to trade individual pairs. Now, I'm using an RSI indicator on a three minute time frame, taking 1.5% profits. Now, again, Crazy liquidations, and this is my actual OKX account. I'm up $834 today. Now, obviously, this has come down a lot because Christmas is here. We've done a bit of Christmas shopping today, all right? But on the six months, just have a look here. I'm not going to show you the week and the month uh, the month because it's just nuts. Uh, obviously, you can see it's dropped significantly because I've you know done some Christmas shopping. But anyway, that's still up 51%. That's $11,330 absolutely mental. My current trading right now, you can see there is a bit of profit available. Now, when I take profit out of this, uh, I, you know, I just go see what's in the available balance. I'll move that into my funding account and do as I wish. Okay. Now I've got 130 positions currently opened uh, up on the, uh, on OKX, I should say. Trading with three commas makes this a lot easier because again, I've tried dollar, uh, not dollar cost average, I've tried day trading and it's just too difficult to sit there all day looking at charts, placing trades, waiting and this and that. It's just annoying, it's time consuming. It does work, but it takes a lot of time and you have to obviously learn charting. I mean, anyone, everyone should learn charting anyway regardless, but three commas for me has been working perfectly. If I go to my position history, this is the last day since I restarted my bots, the new ones obviously, which are in the Patreon. Uh, you can see the profits being made here today, which is really, really nice to see. When the market moves up, it moves up. Things go crazy. These bots work like, like a Rolls Royce. It's unreal. But there are also, when the market comes down, they do work on the shorts as well. So I'm trading both ways. This is all today. No BS, 95% win rate, I would say, because the market's actually quite stable at the moment. Really, really nice. Not many liquidations. Also, by me reducing the uh, the base order to 100 USDT per uh, to, per deal, it has significantly reduced my liquidations, which is really nice, I must say. I mean, the last couple of weeks, I had my base order way too high and I've just brought that down. Anyway, all in the Wall Street Bull University, go check them out. There is a discount for three commas. Go join up to that if you wish, but please be careful with the leverage if you want to trade leverage. Now, Let's have a look at crypto bubbles today. It's a nice, beautiful green. There's so much stuff on their screen at the moment. Anyway, we've got Hedera up 9% today. That's 8 cents, still incredibly undervalued. Uh, what else do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Some of my favorites. VeChain at 3 cents. I'm incredibly bullish on VeChain. Supply chain logistics is massive and we'll be moving on to the blockchain. And as well as Casper. By the way, CSPR. Let's have a look and see what we got here. Luna Classic, 3.3%. I'm still holding on to this even after the collapse of UST. I mean, I bought this. This was like a $100 asset in the previous bull market. We will see where it goes. Axie Infinity, 5.5%. Now, I'm still looking for a good place to stake my Axie Infinity. Thank you, CoinSpot, for uh, stopping that because of ASIC, the Australian regulator. Absolute pain in the backside. What else do we have here, ladies and gents? Let's have a quick look. 
Solana. We do have some updates about Solana as well. 4.3% today, it's $77. I've been holding this since the crash of FTX. Very, very nice. Now, let's get into this. BlackRock, NASDAQ, SEC meeting. This is huge. This is just here. They've had like 24 freaking meetings. 24 meetings. This is in the span of the last six months. 24 meetings. How many meetings do you need, Gary? Honestly, mate. Anyway, this is the second meeting in a month between the parties about the rule changes required to list the Bitcoin ETF. Representatives from BlackRock, NASDAQ, and the SEC met for a second time in a month to discuss rule changes that are necessary to list the Bitcoin exchange traded fund, according to the published memo right here. These are all the individuals. I'm not going to zoom into them, for, obviously for privacy reasons, but there are you know meetings taking place literally every day at the moment. A discussion concerned the NASDAQ stock market LLC's proposed rule change to list and trade shares of the iShares Bitcoin Trust under NASDAQ Rule 5711D. The memo reads, NASDAQ Rule 5711D establishes specific criteria and regulatory guidelines for the listing and trading of commodity-based trust shares on the NASDAQ exchange and detailing the requirements for the initial and continued listing along with the surveillance and compliance measures to ensure the market integrity and protection against fraudulent activities. This is bullish. And uh, the group also met in November to discuss the same topic according to the published memo. At this November meeting, BlackRock provided a presentation and detailed two models in kind in a cash redemption for support uh, of their proposed ETF. This is huge. Now, we've got some other bullish news today as well, but the Central Bank of Ireland officially approves Ripple. Come on. Anyway, Ripple, a pioneer enterprise bro a blockchain and crypto solutions, legendary company celebrates a significant milestone as the Central Bank of Ireland officially includes Ripple with their subsidiary in the list of uh, registered virtual asset service providers. There you go. Not many people, and I should say not many companies can say that. There you go. The decision marks a pivotal moment right now in Ripple's, Ripple's business prospects, allowing the company to offer specific digital asset services within Ireland. And the strategic move positions Ripple to extend its services across Europe, obviously following the enhancement of the markets in the crypto assets regulation, MICA at its close of 2024, contingent upon obtaining essential licenses. There you go. Very, very nice to see Ripple making moves over there in Europe. That's awesome. There were 40 countries obviously pursued crypto rules in 2023. Unfortunately, Gary Gensler was not a part of that, but there were 42 countries that did this verifying degrees, travel rules the most widely discussed, regulation, stablecoin guidelines, attracted far less focus. Turkey is a sole standout in the known, uh, with no national crypto initiatives. Crypto is growing. It is not going anywhere. Countries are adopting blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. It is going to be huge. We also have Justin Sun withdrawing half a trillion Shiba Inu, which is insane, but there you go right here. It's worth approximately $5 million from Binance. What is he doing with that right now? And there has been a pattern of large scale withdrawals as well. Probably needing that cash. Who knows? But that is a lot of money right there. Also, we've got some Solana news updates as well, but real world asset build on Solana as Ondo Finance expands tokenized treasury offering and the combined market cap of tokenized treasuries mushroomed to over $760 million from 110 million earlier this year, according to the realworldassets.xyz data. And uh, you can see here, Ondo Finance expands the US treasury backed tokens to the Solana blockchain and ecosystem applications letting investors use them as collateral in decentralized finance. Tokenized treasuries spearheaded this year's real world asset boom to bring traditional asset like bonds and credit to the blockchain rails. Solana, I'm bullish as anything on that and I'm glad I bought it when it collapsed with FTX. Very, very nice. Crypto meters to IO. Let me refresh this right now. I'm going to smash this because there's some interviews I want to watch on X. Let's have a look at the buy flow. Money going into Solana. We have AVAX, SUI, I do hold that one actually, Near Protocol. Uh, Say is another one I hold, I should say, uh, stay the hell away from FTT, Cardano. We have Stacks, we have uh, Luna as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are, of course, are being purchased every single day. Let's go to X, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Literally, please check this username. There is fake accounts all over this that are even verified. It's disgusting. Anyway. Moving on. Yes, that is my XRP skull ring. I've got a sale running at the moment. Bullish as anything, guys, you can get 40% off. That is the first one off the rank. 
Thank you to those of you who actually ordered that. It's incredible. Literally just spent all afternoon packaging up rings for Christmas. This one will be sent out very, very soon. That is bullish as anything. Now, we've got Kathy Woods from ARK Invest sells another 809,000 Grayscale Bitcoin Trust shares but worth $28 million. Obviously, she's wanting to buy up more Bitcoin. That's what I believe. We have Galaxy Digital CEO. Uh, ETF applicant says, we're going to get this ETF before January. January is only like two weeks away. Let's have a listen to Mike Novogratz. All the different things, Mike, but for a while it looked like we, the, the, the Bitcoin price came off 25,000, started headed up based on some of the, the spot ETF conjecture. But this latest move, which really accelerated, had a lot more to do uh, with, with you know, what you think as an alternative to fiat, as an alternative to, to money printing when the Fed said, yeah, we may go back into an easing phase again. And then it was off to the races. Yeah, Bitcoin up 150% on the year. 150. Asset again, um, for all the Bitcoin skeptics out there, uh, a little victory lap. Uh, listen, the, the Fed's pivot is really important. That press conference was as dumbish as anybody expected. And the markets are uh, behaving that way. You look at, uh, you know, fixed income markets, uh, equity markets, they all are now trading a Fed pivot. And is it, you know, March, January, or do they wait till the, the April meeting? Uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see what their narrative is. We'll see what the inflation data is. But this is all based on inflation coming down, and it's not based on growth collapsing. Um, and so they shifted to an inflation, a more inflation-focused uh, uh, Fed, uh, which gives them the, the room to, to, to cut rates. I think crypto likes it. Uh, we're going to get this ETF before January 10th. That's kind of the drop dead date that Gensler has before he gets in trouble with the uh, uh, grayscale uh, and the lawsuit. Um, and so I think you're going to see this, you know, announced. It won't start trading then, right? That probably takes six to eight weeks after that. But uh, it's just more fuel for a fire. Coin is up uh, as we six to eight weeks after January. That's fine. It's not a problem. We have. Edo Farina, thank you for this tweet, but uh, this is from McAfee. Satoshi is and always will ha always will be basically Joel Katz, David Schwartz. Is that true, David? Let us know, mate. Uh, big finance giants, including JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, and uh, HSBC are rapidly embracing blockchain. There you go right here. Crypto Rover, thank you for this tweet. Excuse me, guys. We've got 111 days left for the next Bitcoin halving. Buckle up. Don't F this up, pretty much. Galaxy Digital again. CEO, 10th of January. Let's see what happens there. And uh, we're also got, again, Binance settling with the SEC. Now, I'm not sure what's happening with CZ recently, but all the best to him. I think this was all planned anyway for Coinbase to grab the majority of the, uh, the institutions to take control. And the Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 74. And yes, I put up a tweet. And how many freaking meetings does this need? And of course, we have my favorite watch list, the banking coins, ladies and gents. No brainer in my opinion. This is where real world assets are being used. Tokenization of bonds, stocks, you name it, cross-border payments, liquidity, which is drying up around the world, to be honest with you. These are the projects right here. Anyway, the full list is in the Patreon. Join up. I'm out of here, guys. Currently sitting at around about 816 on the three commas bots. Who doesn't want to make $800 a day? Mental. Go join up. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good evening, good afternoon. If it's morning, have an espresso. Take care, Bulls. I'll speak to you then. Peace. Bye.